Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. We'll be learning about end behavior of functions and you will be able to do 6.5. Today's students will be able to describe the end behavior of different functions after graphing them with technology. And of course, if you know sketch them without the technology, you are also welcome to do that. Some definitions before we begin is end behavior. It describes what is happening at the ends of the graph. Diverge means to go away from the x-axis and converge means to approach a specific number. And so at first I was going to graph only mother graphs, but I decided to change some of them so they're going to be handwritten. And this is not a commercial, but one of the technologies that I use, you can use your graphing calculator, but you're also welcome to use desmos.com. That's the one that I use for graphing. And basically you just go to, you just go to desmos.com. You press graphing calculator. It gave me the keyword already, but if it doesn't have it, it shows a small keyboard in here. You just press, this will appear. Okay. So it says sketch a graph, describe the end behavior. Uh, for those that you already know, you don't have to actually use the technology, but I'm just going to show. So y equals x. And so if you notice in here, this is a linear equation. So that's why it creates a positive graph of a line. And the only point that you can see is 0, 0. Okay. So if you notice, it goes 1 on the slope over 1, 1 over 1, 1 over 1. And so that's what we're going to transfer here. And so we create our line. And it goes infinitely on both directions. So for the end behavior, what we're going to say as x approaches the negative infinite, meaning that if these numbers are going in here, they're going into the negative infinite, what's happening to the graph? Oh is diverging, is going away from the x-axis. Not only that, so it's diverging, but it's pointing towards the negatives. So we're going to say that f of x, meaning the values of y, um, approach negative infinite. It's pointing down, so negative infinite, okay? Now what's happening as x approaches infinite? positive infinite. So as this is going towards the infinite, what's happening with my graph? Oh, diverging as well, getting away from the x-axis, and also it's going towards the positives. Diverging, going away from the x-axis, but it's going towards the positives. So we say as x approaches positive infinite, my graph or my y values approach positive infinite as well. Okay, now let's put our technology on the other side. And now for this one, it says f, f of x equals or y equals negative x. So negative x is just going with a negative slope, right? So, and again, is one negative one over one, negative one over one for the point. So this is the first point and then right here right here and we draw our line again look how if i keep moving it it will go infinitely towards the it will continue and continue and continue and same on the other side if you notice okay it doesn't stop back to the center zero zero okay so again, it goes infinitely. So we show that with our arrows. And as x is going towards the negative infinite, what's happening with my graph? Well, oh, it's diverging again and it's going towards the positive. Okay, so f of x is approaching positive infinite. What about on the other side? As x approaches infinite, positive infinite, what's happening? 
diverging oops is diverging towards the negative infinite so we say as x is approaching positive infinite f of x is approaching negative infinite the next one is y equals x squared so y equals x for the square you just press a to the second power and we're looking here it's a zero zero but then we can guide ourselves we can see one one is right there the other point is right here which is two four same on the other side negative one positive one and negative two positive four okay and you can expand it if you need to okay so our graph is a zero zero one to the second power means one times one is one two times two is four on the other side is negative one times negative one is positive one negative two for x so negative two times negative two is positive four right there and our graph grows infinitely going up so what's happening as as x is on the negative infinite going that way this diverges and it goes towards the positive infinite right on y it's going up positive on the other side as x approaches positive infinite this also approaches positive infinite so basically if it goes up we can say that the values for y are positive infinite and if it goes down or points down then it goes towards the negative infinite as if as it did in here and also in here let's do the other one okay y equals negative x squared you just press the the cursor in there and put negative and what happens all it does is turn around now it's facing down so you have this in here and then negative one times negative one and the reason is because you're bringing down the negative and then put between parentheses the negative one square raise this to the second power first so negative one times negative one is positive one and just bring down this negative and it becomes negative one so when it's negative one you have it in here same when it's positive positive one times positive one is positive one but then bring down the negative that it's outside and it becomes negative in here okay so again it's this negative from the formula one square you square first the positive one which is one and just bring down the negative okay so when x is positive one still it will be negative one in there same two negative four negative two it's negative four and again you can kind of see it let me do a close-up you can see the squares in there that they're crossing a one negative one one and negative two negative four okay We sketch the graph and what what's happening on the negative infinite for X what's happening to that little end to that little tail to that tail well it's pointing down so the values of Y are going towards the negative infinite what about in here it's also going when x is going towards the positive infinite, these are going towards the negative infinite. For the next one, it's going to be x cubed. And let me show you just x cubed, but I decided to add uh, plus 2 to show you additional ones. But if you just put x to the third power, you're just going to use that key right there which says a b press that it just sends the cursor up and you just put the three notice how in here we have zero zero then one one 
2 will be at 8 because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 2 positive 4 times negative 2. It's negative 8 right there. Okay. That's if I had the mother graph. So 0, 0, 1, 1, and then 2 will be at 8 right there because I don't have enough squares. Negative 1, negative 1, and negative 2 is negative 8. So that will be my mother graph. However, in here it says plus 2. It just means that it's going to go up two spaces. Okay? And again, it's not proportional. There. So it went two spaces up. And then this point, you know how it's one space diagonal, so it's going to be there. And for this one, it's going to be here. This will go up two spaces, so it's going to be right there, and this will go two spaces as well, so around there. So my graph will go, the sketch will go something like this. And it continues on and on and on, on either direction. Okay, so as X approaches the negatives, what's happening to the Y? Oh. It's diverging, it's going away, and it's going towards the, on the negative for x, it's negative for y. So negative infinite. If it's pointing down, negative infinite. As x approaches positive infinite, what's going on with the graph? Oh, it's pointing up. So again, so this will be positive infinite. So now it's y equals negative x cubed, so y equals negative x, a to the b power, 3, and so the sketch again is 0, 0, negative 1, 1, negative 2 will positive. For the other side, it's going to be positive 1, negative 1, positive 1, negative 1, and positive 2, negative 8. Positive 2, negative 8. So this is how my graph will look. My sketch of the graph. And so what's happening? As x approaches negative infinite, so going on this direction, what's happening to my graph? Diverging towards the infinite, positive infinite. And as x approaches the positive infinite, what's happening to my graph? Oh, it's diverging towards the negative infinite. Okay, and for the next one, we have y equals square root of x minus 5. The square root, of, the square root is right here, so let's go back to erase it. You just go back in here. And so y equals... The square root is this one right here, and you put x, click in here with your finger, and put minus 5. It has to be outside of the square root, otherwise it's going to give you something different, okay? So notice how our graph shifted down to 0, negative 5. So that's where we're going to graph this at 0, negative 5. And you notice... And we have seen with the mother graphs before that it's the square root of 1 is 1. So it's just one space right there. And then for the next one is square root of 4 is 2. So you just go 4 spaces to the right and 2 up. So from this, the initial point, 4 spaces and then 2. That will be my, my graph. Okay. How can you tell? You can just look and see I can't really show but when you press numbers it just changes and that can guide you a, a little bit okay so maybe you want to do something like that like 4 negative 3 4 negative 3 okay if you don't remember how to do the mother graph and then shifting it okay my graph will be there 
And so what's happening in here? As x goes towards the negative infinite, guess what? It doesn't go towards the negative infinite. It stops at 0. So basically, this is what's going on. On x, let's pretend, let's just choose any point, And then, see, you're going towards 0, and that's where it stops. Again, get at the middle of the graph and then align it to x. That's where it stops. So at e, as x approaches, we erase that and put as x approaches 0, f of x approaches negative 5. So on y, it stays at negative 5. Okay, again, what it means is you're going, you're moving on the x-axis, you're moving towards the zero, but the, on the graph you're moving, moving towards negative five. On the other side, you do have continuation, and so it says as x, as x goes towards positive infinite again, what's happening to y? Even if it's increasing just a tiny bit, there will be a moment where your graph, this one, will go past the x-axis and it will continue to grow up, up, up. Let me show you. See, at 25, now it passes the x-axis and it keeps growing slowly but surely, okay? So it keeps growing, it keeps growing, it keeps growing. So it goes, it keeps growing on y, so infinitely to the positives as well. Okay. Okay, for the next one it says y equals negative square root of x. So erase that, press the cursor in there and just put negative. And let's go back to zero. There it is. So it starts at zero. The next point is a positive one, negative one, right there. And because it's square root, remember that the next perfect square is the 4. So you can see, and you can see it in there, it's 4, negative 2. 4, negative 2 is right there, and so on. And so we're going to continue. We're going to sketch it like this. Remember that it grows slowly, but look where it's growing. See, it keeps going and going and going. On Y, it keeps growing. Okay, so it keeps growing in there. Again, choose any point on the graph so that you go towards the negative infinite, but it's not going towards the negative infinite because it stops, right? It stops at some point. Okay, and so let's see. Choose any part, let's align it with five maybe, and x is going towards what? Zero. It stops at zero. And y stops at what? It's, it was negative two, then it goes to negative one, and then it goes to zero as well. So as x approaches zero, f of x approaches zero as well. Now, what, what about as x approaches positive infinite? Let's see. As x approaches positive infinite, what's happening? Well, we already saw that it keeps going and going and going, and it's growing slowly, but going away towards the negative infinite. So negative infinite, okay? Because it keeps growing and growing and growing away from x. And here we can see it. See, it's growing away from x. Okay, let's do two more. Now it's the mother graph of the absolute value. So let's get rid of that. Okay, let me show you. The absolute value, it's right there. So you press that and you just press X and that's it. If you notice, um, again, we have seen this graph so many times that you probably already know the mother graph, but it's the absolute value of one is one. The absolute value of two is two. But on the other side, the absolute value of negative one is positive one. The absolute value of negative two is positive two. Remember that the absolute value tells me that whatever is inside is always positive. So that's why um, negative three, oh, for y will be the absolute value of that. So it's 
positive three. Okay, so we sketch it. And the same on the other side. And as you can see, if you see, it will continue on and on and on and on forever. So let's graph that. We just put an arrow to show that it goes on that direction infinitely. And so what is the end behavior? As x moves towards the negative infinite, what's happening to the graph? is diverging and is going towards the positive on y. So we say, oh, it's positive. What about on the other side? For the positive infinite on x, what's happening to my graph? Is diverging again and is moving towards the positives. Okay, so f of x is approaching positive infinite. Okay, now for this one, Let's go back. Uh, one thing, if you notice, we're not paying attention to anything other than the ends, right? It's just what's happening towards the end of our graphs. Not in here, that's related to range and domain, okay? Okay, for this one, it's just y equals negative. Let's add the negative in there. It flipped it, and then we are going to subtract 3. So minus 3. And look what happened. It just went down 3 spaces. So 0, negative 3 is right there. And again, you can see that it's going diagonally by 1. So just down here. And the same on the other side. We sketch it or draw the lines. To connect those points same here again we're just looking at the ends right at the ends of the of the functions or graphs and so in here as x is approaching the negative infinite as x these values are approaching the negative infinite what's happening to my graph is diverging towards the going down negative infinite it keeps going so it's infinite for that reason it's pointing down negative it's, if it points up positive okay now on the other side I start at zero as x goes towards the positive infinite what's happening to my f of x so meaning the values for y they're going down infinitely again so negative infinite and both are diverging with this we end our lesson if you can please support the channel by giving us a thumbs up subscribing around here this will be the link to the entire unit and here you will find the next lesson now you're able to do 6.5 and have fun